poverty and war. Like a mix of misfortunes, the people of Barangay Kasuon in Moncayo, Compostela Valley Province, had been through extreme lack, worsened by armed conflicts between the government soldiers and rebels. This is the experience they struggled with in the past. Life was a total struggle to survive against poverty, to eke out a living amid bullets and gunfire. The community folks, mostly of the Dibabaon tribe, left their homes whenever conflicts broke. They seek refuge in neighboring barangays. Dato Kaningsano was a witness to this plight. Mm. This is the kind of life they lived for several years. Until in 2001, the people saw the last war and slowly peace reigned. After the war, these folks have one battle left to fight, poverty. In facing this battle, they found an ally in the Mindanao Rural Development Program or MRDP. The entry of MRDP in the area through its municipal implementers sparked a hope among the beneficiaries that a better life is within grasp. Today, some 20 beneficiary families avail of the banana production project of the MRDP under its livelihood component CFAD or Community Fund for Agricultural Development. With Latundan banana production, this allowed the beneficiaries to have a steady income source, giving them an income of more or less 5000 in a month. The beneficiaries are also members of a cooperative called Katraiko or Kabangkalan Tribal Cooperative. This cooperative has played a significant role in marketing the banana produced by the beneficiaries and other residents of the community. Here is a picture of a community working together, a partnership between the beneficiaries and the cooperative that ushered in more opportunities. A Kalagan Muslim, Rex Bantas, earns as much as 5,000 in a month with Latundan, while his corn only gives him 3,000. Sold at 6 pesos per kilo, 300 kilos of Latundan within two weeks will give an income of almost 2,000 pesos. But prior to the project, what was their source of income? Some of my legs are going to be able to get a lot Although the people recognized the potential of banana production, they did not have the funds to finance the production. Sa tong una, na ako isigyan pero dili, dili imo na ni kadako. Sa day problema to tong ana nga wala na. Mailan pud nga isa pud ato ang financing. The frequency of harvest for banana in a month gives a good advantage to the people as compared to corn which takes a quarter. With the income brought about by Latundan, their lives are east of burdens. However, when MRDP was introduced, some beneficiaries exhibit resistance. Mm -hmm. 
kamayat ibarun ang kaning yuta. We we immerse ourselves. We we immerse our office. The local government's programs and that's done. Para ma, you can bring back the parts and minds of the people that the government is there to really assist. With this, strong information dissemination efforts were exerted. Social preparation played a key role in the project implementation. We have been consulting them prior to the implementation of these programs and these projects. And these, these people have absorbed the, really the, the trust, the policies, the, the program itself. But who identified the project? Kami are the decision of the people who are going to be the ones who are going to be the ones who are going to be the ones who are going it is the beneficiaries themselves that crafted the, the plan. It is the beneficiaries themselves that developed the concept of the project. Basically, MRDP is a project that we can say is a project of the people. Ever since uh, I have been in the government, there were already a lot of mentions, commissions, commissioning uh, LGUs to do barangay development planning. It's only in this MRDP. Mindanao Rural Development Program, which we fully realized, fully documented uh, the Barangay Development Plan. After the capacity building and orientation at the social preparation stage comes in the pre-implementation stage. After the proposal has been made, the, it will be submitted to the Multi-sectoral committee for the approval and the disapproval of the sub-project. It is very crucial that the people's organization are there in the, in the procurement in the canvas in the canvas of the goods since they are the recipient of the project. The MSC or multi-sectoral committee is one unique feature observed in the MRDP's implementation of CFAD projects. We in the multi-sectoral committee approve and evaluate proposed projects by the people's organization. Finally in the process, project implementation is carried out. From the start up to the last implementation process, the people have played a key role. What I see here is a true process of rural development. This is the commitment of MRDP all for ensuring that the people are served best and their capacities are built. If they are not able to uh, manage the decision or own the decision, including the control of that resources uh, being given by the MRDP, and then you can see there the true spirit of empowerment. With the benefits availed through the project, the chieftain realized something. Kining side sa gobyerno. Labinaaning MRDP kay og matanawan sa MRDP ang atong ang ilang gitabang sa ato ah. kung makita nila but pasabot kung naapay laing uh, project uh, but pasabot kay kung ano ra og pagkabilig hapon ta The partnership particularly with the local government units has indeed brought results that the people now benefit MRDP was able to help the local government units uh, uh, in our quest to help the, the people, especially in the countryside. And uh, this project, the MRDP, in coordination with the provincial government, has really uh, uh, made a very great impact to the lives of our farmers. On hindsight, the future then looked bleak for Dato Kaning Sano and these tribe folks. Now, they have renewed confidence that tomorrow is something to look forward to. Well, they saw war on this land before. Now they see a thriving banana plantation which sustains them in their everyday life. <laughs>